Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. Uh, today I'm going to go into arrays again. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple cool things you can do when you're dealing with numbers, how to make life a little bit easier on you. Um, first, let's instantiate a little in integer array. X, or let's say num, brackets, equals, and we will we'll just put numbers in from the get-go. So, I'm just going to start hitting some random numbers let's see um, so I'm going to show you how to put these in order too so make sure they're all out of order you know with a quote mark or a semicolon excuse me and there's a built-in class in Java a lot of built-in classes actually but this particular one is called arrays and up here I've already imported it it's uh, import java.util.arrays and what this class will let you do is manipulate arrays like this and search and sorts and all types of things so what we're going to do is put it in numerical order I'm going to show you how to do that real quick first we're going to give the class name arrays dot and here's all the methods you you can deal with but the one we want to do let's see where is it we want to sort okay sort and we have an integer array as the argument so what you're gonna put in this argument is the name of the array you want to sort so we're gonna put in num you could have just as well typed that in but let's show you I'm gonna show you with the enhanced for loop to save time and we'll say x and num and let's say sys out control space and we'll put in X right there and let's see what happens okay so all these are out of order right now and we wanted to put them into numerical order we've achieved that just with this and just to see that it does work which we just did I don't know why I'm going to show you this but just to do it Um, show you that before we call that that method they are all out of order okay well let's imagine that these are grades on a test and you're not doing very well if you're getting sevens threes twos and nines on your test but let's just say we want to get an average so let's set a uh, let's see uh, we'll just round it up and say int no, no, no. Let's do a double because we want to have fractions. We're going to say a double and we're going to call this average. And for right now we can just start it off as 0, 0.0. Initialize it. Now let's run through this with a for loop. So in this for loop, I'll say int index equals 0 and run this while index is less than num.length and increment index every time so index plus plus open up some curly brackets and in here let's see we're gonna have to have another variable called total and we'll start that at 0, 0, 0.0. I don't think you have to initialize it with the 0, 0.0, but um, when you when you label things as ints, it automatically truncates. Uh, let's say that was 45, you know, 0.78. Since it is an int, it would only give you 45, and it would completely get rid of that 0.78. It wouldn't round up for you or anything. So that's why we want to call the the total a double and that's going to make the division a little bit easier but for right now let's go through this and we're going to say total plus equals make space so you can make a little more sense so total plus equals num and we're going to want to put the index in there So, 
right now what this is going to do is add up all the values in this array. So let's print that out just to see if it worked. Total. And since there is no decimals on here, it should give you some number with a decimal or point zero. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so 415.0. So now, how are we going to average this out? Well, what is the length of this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I didn't plan for 10, but that's what happened. Um, let's see. We're going to want to say average equals total divided by num dot length. And you could put 10 if you wanted to but you're not always maybe this is a huge number and you don't want to count it this this very this uh, reference right here will automatically reference the length of that so you don't have to worry about counting things out and um, hopefully that will give us the correct average because I know this is an integer I might have to do casting but I don't think I will so let's print out average see what happens it's out. the looks of it if you divide that by 10 you should have a 41.5 so if it says 41 then I need to do some casting okay so we got 41.5 uh, that that's some arithmetic you can do with arrays you can add up numbers you can uh, you know find the total find the average uh, you can subtract the numbers you can multiply the numbers all types of things so thank you for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to try to get to two-dimensional arrays, and you will see what happens. So please continue to watch, and join me in the next video. And please subscribe to my channel and give this a thumbs up. Thank you.